Hello and God bless you. This is your brother Neftali. Thank you for tuning into the Neftali 1981 channel. Today we're going to talk about the very important topic of the Antichrist technology. The Antichrist technology. We're going to be speaking on the Xbox One, the RFDI chip, transhumanism, uh, currency, and many other topics today. So I encourage you to take your time and if you have to pause, get some water. We might be here a while. Who knows? But the important thing is is that we're here to learn with each other. And my hope is that today you can realize that we, uh, at the present moment, are being set up for the Antichrist system. Much more than any of you could imagine. Revelation 13, 16 through 17. Let's begin there. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. The scriptures prophesy of a moment where when human beings are buying, selling, trading, that if they do not have a specific mark, in this case the mark of the beast, that they cannot buy, sell, or trade. But some citizens are embracing the age of Big Brother. In Rotterdam, Holland, nightclub owner John Van Gallen has introduced a system of microchipping for his VIP patrons. It's almost like barcoding people. Yeah, it is. Because every chip got a number. And the number uh, corresponds uh, to the name and, and the picture. That's the way it is, yeah. It is. The microchip has to be surgically inserted under the skin, which means you'll have to have it cut out if you want it removed. Did it hurt getting the chip yeah. in? No, thanks. Okay, can I have a look? Yeah, of course. It feels like a little grain of rice. It's a rice, uh, yeah. Every time he buys a drink, he's scanned. And, like a human ATM, money comes off his account. You don't feel like you're giving up a little bit of your privacy, do you? No. No. It's just nice to have. You can say, I have a chip in my arm. I'm the first <laughs> one in all the world. I, I, I have a chip. Yeah. We're living in a very peculiar moment. Because if you realize, we're living in a moment where this prophecy could be fulfilled at any moment. Now, a hundred, two hundred years from now, could this have been fulfilled? Who knows? But quite frankly, me coming from Puerto Rico, where you can trade bananas, you can trade platanos, you can dules, habichuelas, you can trade all of that at, at will. Nobody can track you when I was ra being raised. But we're now living in a society where everything is tracked. Everything. You might say, oh, Tally, you're exaggerating. Well, let's go down the list. Do you have a cell phone? You can be tracked. Do you have an iPhone? An iPad? Maybe you have a Samsung? Do you have a tablet? Do you have a PlayStation? Do you have a Nintendo? Do you have a Nintendo DS? Maybe your children have a Nintendo DS. Do you have GPS? Is one of your cars those cars that have OnStar? Do you even know that now they're actually selling tires that have RFDI chip in them? So many materials that we're purchasing on a daily basis are sold to us with the flattery of the benefits, yet we don't sit back to understand what it's all truly setting up. And what it's setting up is the Antichrist system. A system where he will be able to track your every move. Where if you don't buy or sell with the mark of the beast, you cannot purchase. That moment is coming. That moment is approaching. And I believe that what we're witnessing now, I am not saying that we're in Revelation 13. But I am saying that this is a foreshadow of what is to come. There's nothing new under the sun. But if you have eyes, open your eyes so that you can see that this is all meant to set us up. 
And immediately, I know I'm going to get the sarcasm, so let me deal with it ahead of time. But Tally, you're using technology right now to spread the gospel. I understand. But realize this, that if man wouldn't have fallen, we would have absolutely no need for this technology. The fact that Satan stumbles on his plans, that does not mean, I repeat, that does not mean that God cannot use those plans that Satan has for evil and use them for good. Do you think that Satan meant for the gospel to be spread all around the world? With YouTube? Out of all places? Absolutely not. YouTube is a cesspool of false prophets, false teachers, and a cesspool of pornography and occult things in it. But I can ensure you. In fact, I don't have to do much to prove it to you. If you make videos, even if you're a video maker that just started, go to your settings in your account and go to analytics. I have people from Russia that watch the videos, South America, Central America, Japan, Korea, you name it. Go there so that you can see. You see, Satan has plans with technology. And God uses those very wicked plans that he has to infiltrate and spread the gospel. God has used technology. I understand. And I'm grateful for the fact that I can spread the gospel. But make no mistake about it. The source of our joy cannot be technology. The source of our joy has to be the kingdom of God. So that when internet is taken away, you can still preach the gospel in the streets. And you're not like a Facebook fiend that's trembling. Oh my God, I can't check. I can't check my Facebook likes. Oh, what am I going to do? Our source of our joy is not YouTube. It's not Facebook. It's not technology. It's the kingdom of God. So yes, God uses technology to spread the gospel. I'm so thankful for that. To be part of that. But understand that presently, the technology that's being fed down our throats... It's not meant to benefit, but it is meant to track you and prepare you and desensitize you. Just as with the puppies. Nowadays you go to the store to take your dog to get some vaccines or, or whatever. They want to sell you the little chip to track your puppy. A dog's got to do what a dog's got to do. Me? I got to get that squirrel. Always digging holes in my yard. I dig the holes. One day I'll go through that screen and chase that squirrel right out of town. You don't think your dog will run away. Your dog might think differently. One in three pets will get lost. Without ID, 90% won't return home. The Home Again ID Microchip. Injected like a routine shot. It's a safe, permanent ID that can help bring your dog home. Home Again. Your pets take it home. Talk to your vet. Because you have to realize that this is all meant to desensitize you. Daniel 11.21 says, And in his estate shall stand up a vile person, to whom they shall not give the honor of the kingdom, but he shall come in peaceably and obtain the kingdom by flatteries. Let's take a look at these flatteries. Because we're in a world wide tracking we're in a world that tracks everything you do there's barcodes on everything you buy there's RFID chips all around you and it's all come to be the, this level because of the flatteries of Satan Satan will never tell you the purpose of these technologies Satan will never tell you what it's for they sell you the benefits in the case of the dog chipping what do they do if your little Bobby gets lost don't worry just come here we'll know where he's at and you pick him up because he has the chip and the same is gonna be told when whatever tracking system comes it's the RFID chip who knows Listen to me, the technologies that we have right now, they are meant, they are meant to track you and they're meant as a foreshadow of what's to come. When they tell you, hey, the crime on this earth is bad, they can take your daughter at any moment, let's put a chip in her 
So that, that way when anybody takes her, we can go ahead and find her. Hey, you know what? The crime rate is bad. Why don't we just put a chip in your hand, and instead of you having to use a wallet, you just use your hand and you scan it, and you purchase anything you want. Does that sound too modernistic and too futuristic? Well, it's not. It's already being used in clubs overseas. Individuals who go clubbing buy anything they want, and if they have that chip, they don't have to worry about paying for anything. Why? Because it's all being tracked and charged to their account. In Mexico, in Mexico, high-ranking officials have to have a chip. We're we're in times that you need. We need to wake up and start, you know, and start smelling the coffee here, people. Electronic commerce. How do you get paid? You get paid with little numbers that come on your account, and then you call the companies, and with little numbers you pay them. You don't even see cash anymore. Money is just an illusion. Do you not see it? It's an illusion. There's nothing to back up the money that is being printed. There's nothing to back up the money that is being deposited in your accounts. The only thing holding the value of money is that you believe it's money. But it's worthless. Yet the systems of this world have to keep the illusion that it's worth something so that you can be manipulated and kept working a 9 to 5 working two to three jobs, get off of five, go to another job. Meanwhile, daycare and school, raise your kids because the government says the school knows what's best for your child. Your kid gets to be 18 years old. You've been working like a workers your whole life. Now your kid gets to do the same thing over again. It is a fake system. This is why God tells us to buy of his refined gold. Because while many are arguing over when Jesus is coming, I can tell you that in my life he has already come and in your life he has already come and you can feel his presence his power and his peace in your life right now worldwide surveillance iCloud technology cameras on every corner even on street lights now manipulated people I, 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 I've, I've seen people that Manipulated people. We're living in dangerous times. We're living in dangerous times. There's a new system that came out. And this system that came out is called the Xbox One. And it kinds of it kinds of lets you know that the technologies that are being provided to mankind have been in existence for at least 10 to 15 years. In my opinion, the technology that you're being given now and that we're being given now, the government is over us by 10, 15 years. With the Xbox One, it actually has the ability to recognize your gestures in your face, to recognize the heartbeat, the oxygen in your blood, when you walk by the Xbox One Connect, it'll know it's you. And throughout time, it'll learn your mannerisms. So that when you're playing the game and you do a facial movement that you always do, it'll know that that's not an actual movement. That's just how you are. It's going to be tracking you all day long. The Xbox One, for example, now has the always-on system. So to play it, it always has to be connected online. Now understand, they're saying that some games you'll be able to play without it being online, but it won't have all the functions and all of the capabilities. So in other words, you're being tracked all the time. But it gets worse because now the Xbox Connect with the Xbox One, you use it to talk to the Xbox. Because we're living in such a lazy society that it's bad enough that couples get in arguments over a controller. I've seen people that they are arguing, where's the controller? What's the controller? For crying out loud, get up and turn it on. But now we're in such a lazy society that we have to say, Xbox, turn the TV on. How ridiculous is that? But those are the flatteries of Satan. Because people will say, oh, I love that. But they're giving up their whole privacy for the 
Oh, I love that, the flatteries. Not understanding that the Xbox Kinect is always listening to you. Keep in mind, Microsoft says that it's only listening for you to say, turn on. But that lets you know that they're always listening. It's always on, always listening, invasion of privacy. Yet people will buy it by the millions because it comes as a flattery. Refrigerators, modern refrigerators that are coming your way. These modern refrigerators, they're going to have the RFID chip in a lot of the items that you're going to purchase. So basically, this is how it's going to work. When you buy a gallon of milk, it's going to have the RFID chip in the future. When you buy some orange juice, it's going to have the RFID chip in the future. And I'm not talking about 20 years from now. I'm talking about within the next couple of months and years. These refrigerators are, some are already being sold. So basically, when you come home and you take your gallon of milk and you drink it all and you throw it in the garbage, at the end of the week, it makes a list of what you need to buy in groceries because it's going to track the refrigerator is going to know what you always have and it's going to say Tally you ran out of orange juice and I'm going to say right back to it yo son mind your business if I ran out of orange juice that's my business right and that's what you're going to say too but the modern person is going to say thank you refrigerator you're so kind you're so kind too difficult so Yale, let's tell everybody what we've just done. Okay, so let's start with the application. What I want to do is I want this refrigerator to email me when something has run out out of the contents of this refrigerator. So I have an email program that's set up. Right now it's an empty inbox. And if we open up the refrigerator, let's just take a look at the prototype we've made. We've installed an antenna into the top here, and then here's the reader box that we made. Now, in principle, if this were to turn into an actual product, you could imagine that the module and the antenna could actually be embedded directly into the refrigerator, so you wouldn't even actually see it. And then we'll just look to see if anything's missing, and we see the Coke is actually empty. So I'm just going to take that out, and let's just recycle that. And let's just wait a moment to see what the fridge has to so be. The reader module is okay in the temperature and humidity of the refrigerator. Oh, absolutely. It'll operate down from minus 40 degrees Celsius to 85 degrees Celsius. Okay, wow, so that's a good Good, good range. temperature range. Now, while we were having that little conversation, an email arrived. You've run out of Coke. An order has automatically been placed through Amazon.com, and it'll be here in one day. Wow, that's pretty cool. All right, so, so now we've RFID enabled the refrigerator. How about we RFID enable me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go do it. Okay. Let's go do it. Okay. But you don't realize that all of this is meant to know what you eat, to know what you breathe, to know what you buy, to know what you sell, to know everything about you. But because of the flatteries of Satan, he will get you to spend eight, nine hundred dollars in that refrigerator because of the benefits, not realizing that it's taking your privacy. These are the Antichrist technologies aimed at setting up the new world order. Maybe I'm just crazy here. Maybe I'm just talking to myself here. <laughs> it's amazing to me. Do you know that they have a tattoo that just like the Xbox One, this tattoo can actually measure. It doesn't even have to be implanted. It can put over your skin. And it measures your vitals. And it measures your oxygen. And it can actually test the blood. All of this, and it can be reported wirelessly to any computer. What are the flatteries sold with it? If you're sick and you want to go home, you can go home because the hospital can track you from home. Do you understand what I'm telling you today? That Satan is a deceiver. He will never tell you the truth. And this is what's wrong with society. Because we have the scriptures that tell us the truth. And we don't like the truth. Society likes to be deceived. 
Society prefers the sugar-coated. Society prefers it. Churches prefer it. Churches prefer for you to give them entertainment. For you to give them the little, oh, let's just bring them in with love. Let me tell you something. The only thing that can set people free is the word of God. The truth will set them free. Whenever you see deception, whenever you see too much flatteries, whenever you see somebody who's not telling you the truth up front, run. But our society doesn't do that. Instead of running away, they run to it. The technology at the present moment is to the point that these implants heal themselves. They're actually taking these tattoos and these microchips. And if somebody tries to destroy them, in this case, they did a test with a microchip. And they did some sort of a laser beam to it or something like that. I'll put it on the screen. It healed itself. It's happening, folks. It's happening. Now, some will say, but Tally, I don't believe that the mark of the beast is the RFID chip. I never said it is. I'm telling you that this is a foreshadow of what it is to come. But I know some brothers and sisters that will say that Sunday is the mark of the beast. Well, I've never bought a gallon of milk at church. I never bought some bread at church. In fact, all I got to do, I got to do at church was get robbed by a lot of people. So I don't think that Sunday worship is the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is going to be something that's going to track you. It's going to know where you're at, what you're doing, everything about you. What's worse is that people don't realize who inspires these technologies. These technologies are inspired by the father of all lies. And understand that there's also technology out there that God has given man wisdom, yet the powers that be in this world do not allow it to come to light there's te there's technologies that have been invented for cars to run on water there's technologies that have been invented that the government has stole patents have murdered people have destroyed a lot of human beings in this world for why because the only technology that they will allow is that which they can enslave you in there's a movie that came out. It was called Escape from Earth. And in these movies, they are very subtle. Because they present to you in little messages and in comedy what is reality within them. In this movie, it shows you how aliens, what they call aliens, which is nothing more than fallen angels. There's no aliens. Those are deceptions are the ones that are responsible for the technology that we have today. In Area 51, Earth's greatest inventions are created by these guys. Hi there, the internet, cell phone, social networking. You think humans can build this stuff? We did. Nobody's going home. Genesis 3, 4 through 5. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God that know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. I wish that the technology could stop at the flatteries and pleasures that are being given that you can either play with with the Xbox One or, or enjoy, and like the iPad, iPod, or whatever. But it goes way deeper than that. It's about man trying to become as a God. Satan does not care who you worship. He just doesn't want you to worship Yahweh. He doesn't want you to worship Jesus Christ. And the technology at the point is at the, right now is at the point that mind control is available. But the technology exists, as you can see, that a man can control a rat's tail with his mind. How scary is that? How manipulative is that? We spoke earlier of Satan's manipulation. God comes with the truth. 
You can accept the truth and be free or not accept it and perish. But Satan comes with manipulation. Think of how technology is that man can control animals to do any actions and people think that that's cool. It's aimed at making man as a god. And think of the mass murders that happen. Think of the tragedies in Boston. Think of the tragedies all over the world. When you see technologies like this, who's to say that they can't use the same technology on humans to make humans do the same thing that they want? Mind reading. Mind reading is now available. A news article came out that Japan scientists can actually read your dreams and your mind. Invasion of privacy. The picture that you're looking on the screen right now, these are sheep that actually have human livers, human hearts, human brains, and other organs as well. They're testing this on these sheep and other animals. A lot of people always say that these sheep look very human. Look at their faces. Well, it's because they have human organs. And I'm not saying that their faces are human. But as you can see, these are abominations. This is not creations of God. These are creations of Satan. These are beings made in artificial wombs. Designer babies are now available. Satan's race is being formed. And people are so busy, so busy with their lives. That they don't have time to pay attention. That they don't have time to see this. Articles telling you that they're getting ready to start growing babies in artificial wombs. Because now vanity has taken over Hollywood. So mothers, uh, parents don't want to have, they want to have the baby but they don't want it in their body. You know women. So don't worry about it now. You can design your baby and in artificial rooms they can actually raise the baby. It is man trying to be God. It is Satan trying to create a race because he is a counterfeiter. But guess what? Satan is defeated. Satan is defeated. I've talked to I've talked a, a lot. And I'm sorry that if, if it feels like I'm ranting. But this is just stuff that I had to get out. And I know that I may sound like I'm a little nutty, but I'm not. I'm not. I love you. And I want you free. And I want you well. And I want you okay. Jesus loves you. I love you. And I want to thank you for taking time to watch. Next week's video, we're going to deal with races. And we're going to deal with the many deceptions that have been played upon mankind with races. And with racism. And with dogs. It's a, a lot of different topics that we're going to talk about. But my hope is that through it all, you research it and you compare it with scriptures. Because Jesus is coming back soon. If you haven't taken a look at the podcast section that we have now available, check him out as well. And God bless you and your family. Thank you.